everybody, welcome back to Shots Life. This week we'll be working on the 2005 American Eagle. We're gonna do some vinyl wrap, we're gonna get an alignment, and we're gonna go camping! Stick with me! Was that too much? Welcome to my life. All right, so another little project we're gonna do. I got some vinyl sticker wrap. It's more of a sticker than it is a wrap, but to put across this top piece here. I've never done it before. I can't, you know, it may be tough. It may be 100% terrible. Um, it may not stick very long, which is fine. I mean, I'm just trying to get it, something over there to cover that mess up. Um, just for this year, actually. Um, probably next year. I don't wanna spend any more money than we've already been spending on this thing. And everything, every dollar I do spend on it, I wanted to go to, to something that's functional, that fixes something functional. Um, and paint is just that, right? So it needs a lot of paint work. It needs that to be sprayed. And then both tail ends have work that needs to be done on them. Uh, but again, we can wait till next year for that. The bus doesn't have to be paint perfect, you know. Uh, just needs to be functionally perfect. So, uh, but anyway, I bought some vinyl sticker to go up there. I did a silver carbon fiber. I was gonna do a black, um, but the heat, uh, I just don't want it. it, it every, every bus that's my year, that's a dark color there is peeling there. Um, so I think the lighter color will do a little better. Um, hopefully it looks okay. The silver with the, the silver, the chrome mirrors, chrome plate, chrome down here, silver in here. I'm kind of thinking it'll tie in. There's also silver on the sides of the bus here, silver here. So I'm thinking, you know, silver should be fine up there. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, it'll cover that up for the time being. So basically I need to take the winch wipers off um, and then I'll cut that to fit. Uh, and then we'll start putting it on there. I'll have to go around those, cut around those um, snaps. There's one there. I guess there's only one in the middle. So the one has to cut around the snap in the middle and then around the winch wiper deals and then around the uh, winch wiper, uh, um, fluid line plugs both those all those i'll have to kind of do around so um yeah we'll just kind of figure this out as we go but right now i need to get the winch wipers off and then get it clean, nice and clean and then we'll go from there <laughs>
so yeah it changes the definitely changes the front of the look of the bus and it shouldn't fade um because it's not a dark color the dark colors fade what do you think i like it <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're proof all right well i'm i'm gonna uh, go help a guy get his lawnmower out of his yard he broke down or something i'm gonna go pull with my tractor and then uh, we'll come back and we'll uh take the rubber off these and uh spray them also i need to order a nut cover plate which i found online already they're a dollar 99 so i'll order a couple of those and get those in and get those nuts covered up on, on top of the bus all right i'll be back all right youtube today this morning it's early um <clears throat> it's at the crock down but i gotta get this bus ready to go we're heading down to london kentucky to get an alignment so that'll be uh that'll be interesting first of all i gotta drive and rush hour and then the second part is um you know like last time when i got the tires i had to wait all day yeah uh, my wife said something about she left the kitchen counter uh last night she left the excuse me she left it uh the granite not in the hole so i gotta make sure i get that taken care of <sighs> make myself a checklist honestly when i when i leave some work All right, let's crank this sucker up. I may have to redo that windshield wiper. Put it a little higher. It's kind of down in the way. All right, so we made it down here. Pretty cool shot. It uh, happened so fast. I didn't record anything, but they had me pull in here, and I'm on these little plates. It's definitely a tight deal. How do you know it was a Spartan? Because of the Ah, look at him go. That's <laughs> right, I had him to set it up because he's down to you. Gotcha. Hey, do you guys mind being on YouTube? Uh -huh. you guys mind being on YouTube? On my YouTube channel? Okay. They were just off the other day. They should be good and loose. No, uh, just make sure. Gotcha. That's far. That's real touchy, yeah. I'm just letting it go back. Yeah, when you get it somewhere in the green, just hold it there. There we go. Yeah. I'm trying to let my hand off it. Oh. Okay. So that was to the left. So keep going. Put it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turning quite a ways. There you go, bro. Half a turn. Okay. You have to get both hands on that bad boy. I figured it was. Alright. Well, what you need to do, you this. Yep. Did you start it up? 
Yep. Center of the steering wheel. Okay. And then put this between the seat and the steering wheel where to hold it. Gotcha. Good. Yes, sir. I agree. Okay. Uh, All right. Actually, I'm looking at it from this side. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I've never been here before in my life, but I was hoping the place looked just like this. I get in those fancy places like those guys don't know what they're doing, man. Yeah, we just work a lot, man. Yeah. It's what it is, really. Exactly. We don't have a lot of time to clean up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I'm all about it. We're That's what. Getting dirty. Yeah. All right, they're taking the stuff off, then I'll go pay. We'll be back on the road. I'm gonna mess with that door a little bit, though. Before I go, is there a table? So those guys at Parsley Tire were awesome. I was in, I mean, like I pulled in and he pulled me right in the bay. They did the alignment. I'm on my way. It's a hundred bucks. Um, I got my seatbelt on. It's a hundred bucks, which I didn't think was bad. Um, but uh, just to be able to get in and out like that, man, wow. Uh, so it's Parsley General Tire. It's on 75 uh, in, in London, Kentucky. So if you're in that way and you need uh, tires or any kind of anything, uh, front end like that uh, those are your guys let me tell you uh, what a great job uh, definitely needed to be aligned so I'm glad I did it and uh, now we're heading back out of here and uh, getting back on the road but uh, yeah I'm so glad that I, I did it because it was quite one of them was quite off so it was definitely gonna be pulling on them tires um, so yeah cool very cool uh, again I'll probably do it I'll probably do that once a year man uh, honestly for that price it, it wasn't bad and man you could really save some life on your tire uh, so yeah anyway great job by nick i don't know the other guy's name because he didn't have his name on his shirt but uh both of them did a great job super stoked now i'm gonna get back on the highway and head north
YouTube. Hey, I got there all shut up. Uh, I got the AC units running in here, but I've got the water disconnected and everything. Uh, yesterday, wow, man, putting in new water pipes, uh, pieces that filters that had broken and seals that were missing and filters that were missing. And then the hot water wouldn't come through the sink. And it ended up being the mixer on the back of the hot water tank. I saw actually another person on YouTube said, smack it. So I was like, whatever, I, yeah, I couldn't, I'd have to pull the whole hot water tank out of the unit to get to it. Uh, a lot of people have doors on the back side. I have a door on the front and I can stick my hand up around. So I took a little wrench actor and started popping it, nothing. So I told my wife, turn the hot water on. So she did that and then I started popping it and all of a sudden, paboosh, and hot water started coming out. So um, yeah, the mixer on the back of the hot water tank. If you if you have pressure, your tank is full, uh, but you don't got anything coming out of the flow on the hot water side in the RV, it's probably the mixer. Um, so anyway, we got all that fixed up. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just chilling the unit down. We're about an hour out from leaving. Um, I still don't have dash AC. I replaced the motor, uh, the relays, the modulator. Um, I cleaned the van, I mean, it was just nasty. So I cleaned it all, I've had, had never been cleaned. I mean, I don't even think air could have flown through, been flowing through there anyway. Uh, but anyway, got all that done. Uh, still not working. Um, so I'm thinking it's either short in the wire or the spider box behind uh, the controls, something in there. So there's a place in Ohio that rebuilds them. So I may, while we're camping, pull the dash again. And I already pulled it once and I replaced all the screws with nut certs, rubber nut certs behind there. Um, and put it all back nice. So it sucks. I got to pull it back out again, but you got to do what you got to do. So I may do that while we're camping. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so anyway, uh, mostly everything's loaded up. I think she has I tons of stuff in here. I mean, I think we probably made way, but I don't know, a bunch more than we did uh, a while back. So, but uh, yeah, she's all closed up. The slides are in and uh, yeah, just getting her chilled down. Uh, what I'll do since I don't have dash AC is I'll pull it out. I'll start the generator and I'll run this air conditioner. We will, uh, we will be going camping down to a local campsite, which is good because it puts the bus on the road for about an hour. Um, and then it lets us test all the stuff in the bus uh, without being too far away from home. Um, I'll just start making a list of things that need to be fixed. Uh, and then of course, you know, I've got my cell phone, so I'll be on Amazon ordering whatever, wherever in order. But uh, I think we got it pretty much situated. Uh, food, drinks, uh, the grill, gas lines, LP tanks full. Uh, yeah, you name it. I think we're ready. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, well, until the wife is uh, off work, which I'm about an hour out, um, I guess that'll be it. I'll turn it in with you and maybe hopefully get some drone shots of the bus rolling down the road and and whatever else. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so we're off. We're on our way. First real trip. All right, see you guys down there. So I should have been filming this whole thing, but uh, new place, much stuff going on. First time I've actually been out and I'm still going out in public doing it. So I just want to make sure I was paying attention to what I was supposed to pay attention to. I want to get this clean up. Good morning, YouTube. Hey, it's our first night here at Pulaski County Park. We ended up with lot 78, which is a very unlevel lot. I mean, it really does uh, slope really good. I uh, did manage to get off to the one side where it was flatter. It definitely dips down to the side here. And I know the camera never shows the heights or the angles very well, but uh, I pretty much nose dived in the front, lifted in the back. Um, and then tilted to the left there, driver's side there. But uh, but it worked out, I mean, we, we fit. It does have a shelter right next to it. I think I rented that, I don't know. A lot was expensive, so I'm assuming I might've rented that too. 
uh, we'll see if anybody uses it or whatever but uh, there's plenty of those around uh, i don't have a picnic table but a uh, host in lot 80 has three picnic tables so i'm assuming they really like picnic tables and might have taken ours there's a lot of permanent residents in here it looks like or like long-term uh, residents they have tons of stuff so uh know that uh when you come in here um golf carts everybody has a golf cart uh, a bunch of kids running around in golf carts too which is fine nobody was like crazy on them uh the park was full but uh there's still a couple slots have people haven't come yet i guess uh for the weekend but it's on lake coming that's lake coming it's beautiful this morning the fog lifted off it it has a beach area um and a day use area and i can tell you the day use area is busy all day long people come and go um but there you have it everything seems to be working fine uh the ceiling fan in the bedroom went out last night i don't know if that's a fuse or what i'll have to figure that out it was making a little noise uh so i'm not sure what to do with that yet uh, other than that um still got the dash ac that doesn't work i've been having a trouble with the air door um uh, i've replaced the phones inside the switch and on the way down here i still heard it in a different place uh the air interchange so i'm not sure what's going on with that i will keep working on that i think it's when i put a new um air dryer in the back and a new governor i think the pressure might be a little bit higher and uh so that's why i'm hearing it but i'm not 100 percent sure uh the deal with the door is it's a air lock system like an airplane to uh, make noise i guess the less noise road noise but it's really just irritating me at this point
Good morning, YouTube. Hey, it's our third day here in Pulaski County Park. Uh, pretty good day. Pretty good day. Um, last night was kind of like crazy. It's Friday night, so a lot of the, I think the regulars came in, and I think every single one of their kids has golf carts, and they just run like crazy around this park. Um, it is what it is. I mean, you know, we're the outsiders. Uh, that's the problem when you let people go long term. They get more and more comfortable, and I think the rules just kind of start sliding. But anyway, whatever. That's the way it's run. That's the way it's run. Um, yeah, other than that, good night. I mean, it did get quiet. It quieted down probably about 10, 30, 11, and everybody just kind of went to bed. Uh, fires went out, whatever else. There's already some fishermen down there getting cranked up this morning. So that's good. The sun's coming up. Let's treat that direction. Does not look good that direction. So I don't know which way the, the wind is going yet, but hopefully it's going this way. So we have a good sunny morning. But yeah, the, all the sights filled up last night. So that's good to see. All right, well, we're gonna enjoy the day. Just thought I'd give you an update. Everything seems to be working out just fine. And YouTube it's been another successful night I did have one thing go wrong though somewhere yesterday afternoon when I wasn't paying attention the fan ceiling fan in the bedroom stopped and the air conditioner stopped I looked at the breaker um, just not popped so I'm not sure what's going on there I'll have to figure that out trace that back I'm sure there's a fuse or a breaker somewhere but it's uh, odd that the, I thought first I thought the fan just stopped so I was like well 
it's old, need a new fan, ceiling fan. And then we realized that the back was warmer than the front. And then I realized the second air conditioner wasn't coming on. So we'll have to work our way through that. I'm not sure what's going on. I looked at the main breaker that says AC. It's not popped, but I broke, put, you know, popped it off, popped it on just to make sure. Ceiling fan still doesn't work, so not sure what's going on. We'll figure it out though. In the meantime, with uh, watching yesterday and how many boats were in and out and all that stuff, I'm probably going to try to get out of here early this morning. So we're going to start putting stuff away. I'll uh, break it all back out when we get home and clean it all up. But uh, I think for now we're just going to start packing stuff underneath and folding stuff up, putting stuff away. And then uh, we'll break out of here and try to hit the uh, dump station uh, on the way out. So, all right. Let me get busy. See what I can get done. Hmm. Coffee's good. <laughs> 